My name is Bisi Alimi from Nigeria, an LGBTQI plus activist and a social entrepreneur. And this is a direct message to the banks as you gather in Côte d'Ivoire to discuss developmental issues on the continent of Africa. I've had opportunities of working with the World Bank and working on redeveloping the safeguarding principles. And one of the things that I've realized from my experience is that unless the people that are going to be affected by developmental agenda at the table, unless they are at the table, whatever is being discussed has no meaning on purpose. And that is why it saddens me, that's me, that as you gather in Côte d'Ivoire, without civil societies, the most affected community are played, most especially women, children, and people with sexual orientation and gender identity. The absence at that table is reinforcing oppression, is reinforcing discrimination, and is creating a system of force against them. And I know this is not your intention. And that is why I'm appealing to you that remember, nothing about us without us. It's time to expand the table. It's time to bring us to the table. It's time, it's time to listen to us. And it's time for us to learn from you. Because that is the only way we can create a new Africa that is in the interest of all Africans. Once again, thank you for the work of development you're doing on the continent. But I'm not going to thank you for not involving us.